We can use probability to determine how many times some event is likely to occur. So using the example shown here on the screen, we can actually work out how many sixes we'd expect to get if we rolled a dice 36 times. The first thing we need to do is work out the theoretical probability of six. Now that's based on the total number of outcomes for a dice roll, which is six, and the number of favorable outcomes, in other words, when a six occurs, is one of those six. So what we need to do is work out one sixth of 36, because that's how many times the dice rolled. And one sixth of 36 is equal to six. So a formula to summarize that is the expected number of times for something to occur, or the expected frequency, is its probability multiplied by the total number of trials. In other words, how many times we roll the dice. Let's consider this example now where we've got numbers from one to 10, and we're gonna select a number 50 times. The question is, how many prime numbers would we expect to get out of those 50 selections? Using our formula, what we need to know is the probability of getting a prime number multiplied by the number of trials. Now, in this case, the number of trials is 50. Let's have a look at that same question, but with the numbers 1 to 10 displayed. Now, out of the numbers 1 to 10, we can see here in yellow that there are four prime numbers, 2, 3, 5, and 7. So the chance of getting a prime number on one selection is 4 out of a 10. So to determine the number of prime numbers, we need to multiply 50 by 4 over 10. And when we do that, we get a result of 20. So out of the 50 selections that we make, we can expect to get a prime number 20 times.